Hello, this is Representative Steve Handy from Legislative District 16, representing Layton and portions of Clearfield and Hill Air Force Base with a timely topic of interest. With the start of Utah's 2020 45-day legislative session on January 27th, I'm involved in many pre-session meetings and briefings, one in particular about the youth vaping epidemic and sponsored by the American Heart Association was particularly concerning and I thought it would be helpful to frame some of the issues as we will surely find solutions to this alarming trend among our youth. For example, let's be clear that e-cigarettes are the latest effort to get kids hooked on nicotine and taxing them like other tobacco products may be an effective way to discourage youth from purchasing them. However, that doesn't address where most of our youth are obtaining these products because most are sold on the black market and that's a problem that isn't easily fixed. But to begin to address that issue, the American Heart Association's panel of experts proposed that all flavored tobacco products be restricted to age-restricted tobacco specialty stores. But here's an alarming statistic. In Utah, it's estimated that 12.4% or over 80,000 young people are actively vaping while only 1.5% smoke. And experts said youth are drawn in by the flavors, but then they get hooked on the nicotine. Look for several pieces of legislation this session to address this growing problem. I will be actively engaged in order to be informed and make the best decisions possible to get the problem of youth vaping under control. Thanks for listening and please contact me with your concerns and questions before and during the legislative session. I'm working hard to be your voice in the state legislature and thank you for your support.